plaque fungus or mucomycosis. Hello everyone and a very good morning. I am Dr. Chirak Chamarya from Royal Dental Clinic. So let's talk about the black fungus or mucomycosis. There are a lot of videos out there which will tell you what black fungus is, what it does to your jaw. There are a lot of videos there also or online which will tell you uh, what are the different treatments which you have to do. I would like to talk about something more. I would like to talk about next step. We have got COVID. We recovered from COVID. After recovery, we got, unfortunately, we got mucomycosis, black fungus. And then now we are thinking of getting treated or we have just gotten treated. Our part of the upper jaw has been removed. Okay, now what? Now what is our lifestyle going to be like? The basic problem which we are going to face is eating, breathing and speaking. Whenever you are going to eat something, either you will eat through a tube from the nose or whatever you are going to go eat, it is going to go in the nose because now they are going to be connected from inside. Speaking is going to become a little nasal. There is going to be a nasal twang. Speech is going to get blurred. And in terms of facial aesthetic, wherever our surgery is being done, that part is going to get depressed. There is going to be a default. So what needs to be done now? The basic principle of rehabilitation or reconstruction is whatever has been lost, you replace it. So teeth are lost, you replace the teeth. Bone is lost, you replace the bone. Gums are lost, you replace the gum. Skin is lost, you replace the skin. The golden standard in these cases is to use bone from any other side of the body. Most commonly is the fibula or the bone below the knee. So part of that bone is taken. It is molded or adapted to our upper jaw. Usually this bone is around 13 to 14 mm thick. In this bone you can place dental implants very well. When you place the dental implants, now you can give the teeth as well. The skin of this bone helps to make the gums. So we have replaced all three things which are lost. Now, I have not spoken about something which is very important at this point, is the aesthetic. When we are doing this treatment, it is very important that we try to mimic nature. We try to mimic what your natural proportions were. And it is very difficult during the operation, during the treatment, that we exactly mimic what your other side was or what how it was before so in these cases the advanced CT scans and the technologies come into play we are now capable in maxillofacial surgery to 3d print your present deformed jaw condition and to actually predict what the final result should be and based on that prediction, we can very accurately create implants or modify existing implants such that the fibula bone or the bone which we are placing is placed in that exact position. We can go to this extent that we can even plan out the teeth which are going to be placed even before doing the surgeries. So if we have this problem of mucomycosis or, or and we are thinking of treatment alternate, it is very important that we ask our doctor what is the quality of life after the treatment. It is not only enough now to remove the infected portion but also to make sure that the rehabilitation is done to the best of the possibility. 
this is where the advancements in technology where technology is meeting dentistry and maxillofacial surgery advances with plastic surgery are coming into play thank you